good day, good evening, chocolate lover. Welcome to Chocolate TV, episode four hundred and I forgot. Sorry, four hundred and eighty-six, no, ninety-six, four hundred. Only four left to five hundred. Well, that's not bad for being a, a private chocolate taster, paying all his dues tonight. Uh, Scottish artisan bean to bar producer, uh, chocolate tree. This is their Ecuador Esmeraldas. Ecuador National uh, Arriba beans uh, from the um, Esmeraldas region. 85% cocoa. So here you got it. Big cocoa count. In this beautiful pack again. Packaging. Sorry about that. You got two sets. So let's open up one of them. So um, they've used an interesting mold uh, to mold this uh, chocolate bar. It's unicorns. At least to me, yes, it's unicorns. Lots of unicorns. Well, uh, and as you can see, uh, it's a very dark, dark, dark um, red, brown color on this one. Nacional Arriba is a, a, a cocoa bean indigenous to Ecuador. And yeah, usually very good. So let's sniff this one up. What do we get? We don't get the drunken sailor. We get uh, rooibos tea, red tea, red currant, red fruit, red acidic fruit. Kind of a dry uh, woody component as well. Uh, it doesn't smell sweet, and 85% cocoa sh usually is not sweet at all. Uh, but it doesn't smell bitter or uh, tart or anything like that. Let's break that one off. Very smooth. I don't know if you can see this. Why is my lighting so bad? Very smooth uh, breakage point. And let's uh, taste this one. Put it on the palate. Good crack. First off, you, you get a slight bitterness, but not grapefruit bitterness, more like goji berry and Lingonberry, cranberry bitterness. And there's a woody character as on, on the nose. Kind of mixed between oak and juniper. How do you know? Well, I've tasted oak and I've tasted juniper and I've tasted mahogany and I've tasted pine and I've tasted birch. You leak on it. That's how you test it, you know. Mid on, the chocolate gets more creamy, not that tart, not that bitter. Um, a hint of sweetness coming through. But this is very high acidity chocolate. Not citrus acidity, but rare. Uh, red berry acidity and also there's a, a sort of a leather um, uh, woody earthy component as well very enjoyable uh, dark chocolate from Scotland 
made with beans from Ecuador. Well, don't say the chocolate word is... Well, it's global. Don't say it's not global. I'll give this one um, 8 out of 10. Uh, really coats your palate. Really have a long back end. And there's a nice tartness to the red berry acidity. I do like red berry acidity, as in red wines that have a similar uh, structure and profile. So, well, that, that's not bad for a Monday uh, for episode 496. So, I bid you good night and farewell for this Monday. Bye.